Good vibrations, everyone. Welcome to the Alchemical Mindset, the Dream Reader Edition. First, I want to thank everybody who subscribes to the channel, all those who are members of the channel, those who are members of Patreon. Continue to hit that like button, subscribe button, and continue to share this information. So this is a Dream Reader Edition. So I interpreted a gentleman's dream this morning and I have permission to go over the dream with you guys without giving too much uh, personal information but personal information is not required so in the dream it starts out with the gentleman is sitting with his lady his lady and they're having a meal and another gentleman walks up kind of scrawny thug looking but apparently well off. He walks up to the gentleman and his lady and he asks his lady a question about trading what he has for what she has. She didn't quite understand what he said, but he said, don't worry, daddy got that for you. So when he walks away, the gentleman says like, what did he say? And she was saying, I, I didn't quite hear she, she wanted, he wanted to trade. So when he comes back, he says to her, he gets ready to trade with her rather. And the gentleman asks him, what did you, did you call yourself daddy to her? And he said, yeah, I did. And he told her, I can buy you anything. I can buy you more than what he can. So before anything else is said, the gentleman lets the guy know that you can't buy her. And she doesn't, she's loyal to me. And I would beat you down, but I'm not. He gets up and he walks away. His lady gets up. She walks away with him. The guy's like befuddled, not understanding why he couldn't buy this lady. They walk away, they're happy. Then they're walking through a parking lot. And as they're walking through the parking lot, they see all of his exes and all of his ex's friends. And they're having interventions with each other. They're holding and grappling with each other. They're, they're, they're hugging each other, rather. They're consoling each other. And when they see the other lady, his lady, they try to pull her from him. They try to pull her into their interventions and into their sorrows and into their grief but he tells her no stay away from that and she looks and then she recognizes what's going on and she although feels bad for these ladies she recognizes what she recognizes what she has and she goes and she leaves with her man because there was some trash in their home and it was sitting by the back door and the back door the bolts had fallen off now she had tried to repair it but she couldn't so she threw the bolts in the trash in the in she threw the bolts in the trash and she was propping the door up to try to keep anyone from coming in and any other mishaps from happening but when he came and he saw the door was broken he tried to fix it himself, tried to prop it up, but then realized that the bolts were gone. And he asked her, where's the bolts? She told him where it was. He said, no, no, no. We got to put these bolts back on. And so he puts the bolts back on to secure the door, but the door is still not as secure as it needs to be. So he tells her, let's go. And they go and they go off to buy a new door come back and they put the new door on and take the little trash that they had and take that trash out so that their place is now clean no, and there's no trash and they put this new door on that is secure that is bolted that trash can't get through so I'm going to give you guys the short version of the interpretation of the dream because, because of personal information concerning him it has a bit more meaning 
when you're in a relationship, a good relationship, a great relationship, people will try to come and take you away. Men will think that they can buy the affections of your lady. But if she's loyal, you won't have to fight for her. You won't have to act out of your character. You won't have to feel uh, that you got to go get violent in order to establish your manhood, establish your leadership in a relationship. If she has value, she will follow you in her loyalty and money can't buy her. A look, a thuggish look can't buy her. The appearance of what may be popular in culture can't buy her. And ladies, regardless of what all the other ladies say, regardless of what has happened in his past, what he's doing right now with you, that's what matters. What you are doing right now with her, that, that's what matters. You cannot let the past drag you down. You cannot let others drag you down. If others are in sorrow, grief, or anger, or whatever they are in because they're not in that relationship with him anymore, how he is with you, that's what matters. And gentlemen, take heed of how your lady is responding to your past. Ensure that you've explained things, that she knows things, that she knows what was and what was not. What were your good points and what were your bad points? How did you mess things up and what have you done in order to not be that person again? Get those things squared away. And ladies, if you had an old, if, if the old door that kept things out, that allowed you to take out the trash, if the old door is broken and now you can't even take out the trash, but it leaves you vulnerable, it leaves the relationship vulnerable, don't prop it up. Men, don't try to fix the old door. Go get a new door. Establish your relationship differently. Establish your relationship being the new you, being the new her, being the new him. Establish a brand new door. Take out what trash that you may have been holding on to what you may have hold, held on to from each other, what you may have held on from previous relationships, what you may have held on from past experiences of trauma that you may have experienced through family or any other type of situation. Take that trash out. No matter how small it is, take it out. But put a new door on it. Put a new distinction on it. Put a new security system on it. Get rid of the security system that you thought that's dilapidated, that doesn't work anymore, that doesn't hold, and have a new security system, a new door for what's new in your life. So ladies and gentlemen, of course, depending upon your situation and your past, there's a lot that you can take from this dream. If you're one of those people who are still hurting over a past relationship, Maybe the intervention is what you need. Maybe the group therapy is what you need. But at some point, you got to get yourself clean and free and be able to walk into a new life. You got to be able to throw away the old trash and not keep holding on to what's gone. Not keep, not, not stay in that perpetual position of reliving your trauma, your grief over and over again or living your regrets over and over again. Gentlemen, you cannot buy a woman. You cannot think that you can walk up, you see something great, and you can buy a woman. Now, even if a woman's love language is gifts, you still cannot buy the woman because it is not the gift that matters. It is the energy that put you put into the gift. Whatever her love language is, you have to understand what it is, why it is, and then act accordingly. It is a lesson for us all to learn. For us all to learn. Just realize, also, and more importantly, when you see someone, you see a relationship that's a, that appears to be amazing, they still got some trash that they're dealing with. They still got some issues that they're dealing with. They still may have a broken door that they're dealing with. All that's on the surface may not always be what the reality is. 
So they still got some trash going on. And unless they decide to establish a new door and take out the trash, you may never see it because the only people who knew that they had trash was them too. So don't try to buy or mess up someone else's relationship because you think it's perfect because it may not be. It may have some trash in it. It may have some issues as well. But if they're taking out their trash, they're dealing with their trash, it's not for them to come and tell you about it. Let them handle it. Let them deal with it. And they must and they should take out the trash. Establish a new door, a new system. But we all have to find our own. It's not take from other people. We can't take from other people. We can't think that we see somebody and we want to go and take it. Find your own. Find your own happiness. Find what matches you. Find your own soulmate that matches you. And move with that soulmate. So there are other lessons you may take from the dream. I'm sure you will. I hope that you will. This is one of the reasons why I share the dreams that people allow me to share. And from time to time, I'll share my own. Uh, I will be sharing a dream concerning my son and my kids uh, real soon. A recurring dream that I've had over and over again. But first, I need to talk to my kids and make sure I have their permission. But if you have a dream that you need reinterpreted, we can set up a session. I'll be your dream reader. So, thank you for being here. Continue to subscribe, become members, join. Y'all have a great night. Sleep well. And remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.